1973. Tragedy oh, and despair shit. have struck Central Texas. Uh -huh. A young college student named Maria Flores is seemingly vanished without a trace. She was last seen near the town of Newt more than two weeks ago. Maria's younger sister, Ana Flores, and a group of her closest friends set out to find their missing loved one. But any I mean, real courageous, but probably a really, really bad decision. They probably had no idea what they were getting into, though. The events surrounding Maria's disappearance would be just one of the many bizarre crimes later known as the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Yeah, okay. Oh, I was wondering if they would have all the licensing and stuff for all this shit. All right, what's going on, guys? It's Jev, and welcome to the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. If you guys remember a long time ago, one of the greatest horror multiplayer games to ever come out, Friday the 13th, suffered a terrible, terrible fate at the hands of copyright and all sorts of other drama. So now, years later, that same studio that made Friday the 13th has now made another horror classic multiplayer horror game, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. This is the technical alpha. Um, also, if you guys like this video, let me know down in the comments comment section and by leaving a like on this video I can make some more you know while it's available I'm pretty sure there's supposed to be a bait in the future as well but there will be plenty of opportunities to play it if you're not in right now and also before we get started G Fuel currently has a BOGO sale going on on their website at the moment just a simple buy one get one free you can buy one tub get another tub free you can go and pick raging gummy fish in any other flavor or you can pick two raging gummy fishes you can pick two of the same flavor for any of them that you like and also if you're not really utilizing the BOGO sale but still buying from the website you can also use code Jeb for a percentage off as well so if you do that let me know tweet at me on Twitter at Jeb I appreciate it okay so there's tutorials we could learn how to play the game or we could just straight up balls to the wall just throw ourselves in there having no idea what to do i'm not sure which one would be more fun so you can choose to queue as family or victims or you could do quick match and it'll just put you in either so from what i know i think this game comes out in august let's just do a quick match oh it wants me to do tutorials uh let's just do both then how to play as family you're part of the family now it's up to you to secure property and stop victims from escaping family's way of life depends on it keep all doors locked and make sure all exits are closed trapped or guarded make sure to monitor crucial pieces of equipment like generators, the fuse box, and water valve pump. Okay, so we're getting some DBD Friday the 13th, you know, things, the usual stuff that we get on these games. Feed this newly acquired blood to Grandpa to make him stronger and more effective. What does Grandpa do? The stronger he is, the more powerful his sonar ability becomes. He'll be finding and highlighting victims for the whole family to see. Feed Grandpa enough and he'll give the whole family new abilities that can be used for the rest of the match. Dude, if he gets up out of that chair, I'm gonna lose my shit. Each family member has a unique ability that can help hunt and track down victims. Oh yeah, it looks like a gun game. It's so goofy, I love this shit. Don't let a single victim escape. I mean, even if they do, the cops will just bring them back, right? Victims, you've been captured by the slaughter family. Find your friends, hunt for life-saving items like tools, bone scraps, and health. More importantly, locate and open up escape routes before it's too late. Family's hunting, so move quietly and make the right decision. Okay, so there's a lot of ways to escape, also a lot of ways to die. Can your teammates, like, help you out, save you and shit? Characters loadouts skill trees oh shit okay whoa whoa whoa. there's a lot more to this there's progression as you play the matches in texas chainsaw mass so from what i know at the moment you can't actually make progress on these trees and stuff this is mostly for stress testing and stuff cross play is here all right seven of seven let's ready up sunny thank goodness it's you okay wait so you want to quietly do it okay you have to use e to go through these things this is the way out what is this tree bone scrap Okay, I'll figure out the sweet spot for that. That's an interesting... Oh. That's a little loud. That's a little loud. Tool. What would I even use an unlock tool for? What do I... I don't need camos. Wait, I came from here. Connie, I'm over here. Oh shit, okay. We got everyone together. We got three. Heard a chainsaw. I had to start moving. Wait, okay, all of us are here. Holy shit. What do we do? Oh no! Oh fuck! Use fuse box to open. Where the fuck is the fuse box? I found the door. Oh, heavy door! Grandpa! Pick lock. Got this. Good. a way up but how do we get through it uh, ah! how the fuck do you leave ah! oh, i'm fucking dead man i have an unlocked tool oh, oh shit 
They were just camping the door. I, I, what am I supposed to do? Okay, Grandpa is screaming. I don't know what the yellow around the screen means. I have no idea what that means. Did it work? Finally. Basement exit open. Yeah, but how does that get you out if they're just sitting at the front door? They were literally waiting for me to come through the front door. Like, I went through everything I could and needed to, and that's all I could do. Oh, that's a cool angle. It's just like Friday the 13th. So this is like the, the lion thing from Rainbow Six where I shouldn't move when he's screaming or what? Hook has heard you. How? Oh. Well, that's... <laughs> I mean, this guy is so fucked. I mean, I'm just hoping that there's some other... Oh, boy. What? Wait, he just fell over. He passed out in front of him. That's just unlucky. I... Oh, it's gonna beat his ass. It was a nice try, everyone. I don't know if we even did a good job at all. We tried, everyone. I mean, look at our scores. I don't even feel like I did anything and I have a thousand score. This dude has 75. Okay, I'm playing as the cook. I can hear people. Uh, I don't know what this does. All three of us had the same starting perks, it looks like. I wonder, wait, so do you have separate levels for each of the characters? Or there's just like one survivor. I wouldn't even call it survivor. It's a victim. That's definitely the better term here. Secure the property. Feed grandpa. Collect blood from victims. Execute them. All right, fair enough. Dude, what is with this guy? He's so weird. His whole personality is just laughing and swinging and standing awkwardly. Oh, grandpa's awake. All right, now we can go down. More than gotta be down here. There's no way. I'm whooping his ass. I got destroyed. Oh, damn. What the fuck? The cook knocked me down. What the fuck? Crazy. Fuck him up. I see you right there. I got him. Here, Grandpa. Got a hundred blood. They're over here. Side yard. Get him! Yeah! Fuck him up! Yeah! Get her ass! Bop! 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 Wait, one of them got out. This other dude was too busy chasing the other dude around. I had him! Where the fuck was Leatherface at? Hey, I got some kills. It is what it is. Got two kills, but less score than Tony? I have no idea what I'm doing, GG's. This shit is fun. It's only gonna get more fun as it goes. Progress through the game and all that shit as well with all of the perks and upgrades and individual characters to level up and stuff like that. So again, this test runs all the way through the weekend. So if you got access to it, I'll likely be playing this a bunch. So also the game is coming out pretty soon. Thank you guys so much for all the love and support on all the videos recently. Let me know if you guys want some more Texas Chainsaw Massacre. And uh, yeah, it's been Jeb, guys. Later. All right, dude, let's see what you Sony's got. Oh, shit. It's like a racing game. Oh, no, it's not just a racing game. What the? What does this shit remind me of? Uh, Shadow Warrior? Oh, it's Ghost Runner. Ooh. Okay. I'm loving these designs. It looks like some Lost Ark shit with that cannon arm thing. I love how dark it is. How gray everything is. It definitely still isn't that. Oh, shit. Phantom Blade. Is this a uh, journey? Journey 2? Hey, wait, I want a fucking sandboard. Literally just a game where I just sandboard across an infinite landscape. Yeah. God, wait, you all, this is the game. I'm buying it. I'm buying it. This is going to end up being one of them TikTok type games where people will just watch it with some other sword of the sea. This is just something to watch like uh, subway surfers or some shit. So much cybernetic stuff. Uh, another hero shooter. Where is the map? It just seems like total chaos. I mean, it's very unique looking, but like, what the fuck is happening? Foam stars. Yeah, it looked like it runs on a PS4. No way you made a whole game about being a fucking bug. Don't do it! Oh. Alligator gonna bite him. Here we go. Yep. Yeah, snake. Oh! Wait, that is a- Oh, God. Yeah, It's just some trailer for something that we won't know shit about. What the f- Oh my God, it's Metal Gear Solid! Dude, I haven't seen this universe in this graphic, like, fidelity, so I had no idea this shit was Metal Gear. Holy fuck. Dude, it's been forever. God, it's real. Is that PS5 exclusive? This gameplay looks really good. I mean, I'd say it looks good, but it's Final Fantasy. It always looks good. Who will give me the strength to end your reign? I think it's PS5 exclusive. Eventually, it would probably come out just like Final Fantasy 15 or whatever. On uh, Bloodborne Remaster. <gasps> Alan Wake? It has to be Alan Wake. Forget the actor's name. Oh, shit. Oh, they got the Resident Evil style. This looks crispy as fuck. Oh, shit. This looks good. What's your name? Oh, it is! I knew it with, like, the mystery and all that. I actually really fuck with this art style. It's real, like, psychedelic. Real grotesque, like, ultros. If yeah, people are gonna get high as shit and play this. 2024. Yeah, that's what they're planning. Look at that. They know what they're doing. Oh, yeah. I'd love to get motion sick for fucking, I don't know how many hours playing through this. Resident Evil, Dark. baby. Oh, it looks exactly how it did. It looks great. Bungie. Bungie game. New Bungie. They ain't no new game. Fucking Destiny, probably. No, no. They literally just showed it. 
Oh, wasn't caught. I don't remember. <laughs> Marathon, that's the name of it. Yeah, oh, he's alive! The best Gran Turismo players in the world will compete for a place in racing history. And they really had to splice that audio together, huh? Kind of like one of my videos. You have no oh. idea. Venom. This whole blizzard oh, hunt ends to hunt. I'll give him one he'll never forget. Switch to Miles. Miles. Oh the my. Hunt. Let's still get the glide. So the next biggest thing after this is Summer Games Fest. That's going to be the biggest one. That's basically the new E3 anyway. Everyone knows that.